Hey y'all, time for a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I cut, relax, trim my edges, and style my hair. If you've watched my maintenance video, then you know that every weekend I do my hair and then I do my hair once throughout the week. Because I partially relax my hair and I do different uh, services on my hair depending on the week, sometimes multiple services fall on the same weekend. That's what happened this weekend, so I decided to go ahead and film it for you guys. I do cut my hair when it's dirty, so you're going to see me start from with dirty hair, cut it down in the back with my clippers, I then go in and I relax my hair. I'll show you that and then after I relax my hair I neutralize it shampoo it condition it and then when it's um, wet and has been relaxed I trim my ear area up and then I go in with my wrapping foam and I style my hair so if you're interested in seeing how I do those steps then keep watching okay guys as you can see I start on dirty hair don't mind the flakes I part everything off from ear to ear and I comb down from the part the section that I'm going to cut with the clipper I comb up from the part, the section that I do not want to cut in the clippers. That keeps everything separated. I'm going in here with a number one guard on my clipper and I am just taking small sections starting from the part and going down toward the nape of my neck until I get it as low as I want it. This is how it looks when I'm done. I don't take off too, too much because when you relax it, it's gonna stretch the hair out and make it look longer. But I do this mainly just to clean it up and make it look neat. You can see here how much hair I take off. Very little, but I do this every two to three weeks. You can do it depending on how fast your hair grows every two weeks or every four weeks. Here I'm just blending in the longer portions of the hair with the part I just cut with the clipper and using my shears to cut it. This is a technique that I do that just gives me more flexibility with my styles. I comb my hair toward my ear on the very sides of my head toward the nape. What this does is allows me to either take the comb like you see me doing now when my mold is wet and combing those edges down to get a very neat look or comb it out like you see me doing here when the mold is wet to get a feathered look near my ear and at the nape. That's also why I leave that little piece down at the bottom so that I can feather it out. This is how I part my hair off when I'm gonna go in for a partial relaxer. When I'm gonna relax the sides and the back, I cut it like this. I call this the U-shaped part. You will see as I turn to the side here, I start about my temple on each side and I meet it up in the back just where I use the clippers to cut it. This is the hair relaxed, well with the relaxer on it. And as you can see, there's about a two inch section from my ear toward uh, my temple that I do not relax as frequently. The hair now is washed, neutralized, and conditioned. And you can see the top has a lot of texture in it because obviously I didn't relax that portion. But the sides that I just relaxed and the back is straight, just like I want it to be. And when I put the foam on it, you will not be able to tell the difference in the two textures. Here I'm just um, combing my mold. This is just Nairobi applied to my wet hair. And I'm just gonna go in with a part at the crown of my head and go ahead and shape my mold the way that I want it for the style that I'm gonna wear. I'm combing everything from the part forward toward my forehead and from the part straight back down toward my nape. This is the wet mold. There's that part in the top. Here's the side, the back, and then the other side. And there are no waves or anything on the edges. Okay y'all, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see a tutorial on how I achieve this particular style, a step-by-step -step tutorial, then leave a comment down below and like this video. I didn't put that in this particular video because I felt like if you guys wanted to see it, I could do that and make a whole separate video just dedicated to the styling. So you can let me know that. Also, if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for watching and supporting. If you're not a subscriber, but you like my content, please think about hitting that subscribe button before you leave. And until next time, y'all, bye.